Hello, and this is part two of installing Windows 98 on a USB. And once you have installed and put the Windows 98 set up on the USB, you need to plug it into your destined computer and boot from it. Go into the boot loader. You need to switch this to CM CSM and set up exit completing changes. Then once it is in there, you want to uh, type in dir. And you'll do CD. Uh, wind and make sure it's like it's the um the directory that isn't local it's called wind in this case you can name it whatever you want then type in set up and press enter then press escape This is the uh, Windows 98 setup, and the touchpad works. <laughs> Click next. Then, if you want uh, the desktop themes, go to like select custom, then select desktop themes. And it won't make any difference from it. Just keep going through. Okay, it's doing its thingy. We'll pause it here. Okay, once it's finished, you'll see this box. And just click restart now, or press enter. And you'll see this. Okay, after it restarts, it'll boot up. Mm. There it is. Okay, and you just want to turn it off. So, it shows this screen. Or press F8 while with the windows loading. And you just wanna do command prompt only. Then type in CD win dose and press enter. Then type edit when do no wait. It's system dot i n i. Then I'm gonna press the down arrow key. This so you make the cursor on the last line of three eight six e n h. And press enter. Then type in. Max
fizz page just like that and press equals then type in 30,000 the reason for this is because Windows 98 only supports up to 768 megabytes of RAM and this allows up to exactly 670 no, 768 megabytes of RAM and this computer has 4 gigabytes so unless you have like 512 megabyte RAM computer then if you have like 1 giga, gigabyte and above you'll have to do this then press Control S then press Alt F then scroll down to exit then type in Y then and shut down the computer turn it back on and just oh wait oh you have to press F8 so go this you need to do something else I that I forgot Wait for it to boot up. You need to get to the like this the safe um bone thing. Okay, I have it in safe mode. Do the command prompt only. Then type in cd wind. This is the directory of the Windows 98 setup. Then type in ren win 98 win. So rename the Windows 98 to win. Then shut down and turn on and you have to do this because it will freeze in the setup when it's detecting hardware wait for scan disk Okay, booting up back again. The Mac. Okay, it's booting now. Yes. <laughs> then exit the agreement. Next. Let me just. Okay, I have the product key here. Just so wanna put next and finish and just wait for that. It'll pull up errors. That is a good thing. You wanna see this? Click OK. Click file keep clicking skip file 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 wait for this Oh, 
Okay, so it's just about finished. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes! And it may be a little laggy. That's good. I guess the mouse dot drive. Uh, go to the and then okay. Because this is like press enter. Let's wait for it. I don't know if you're wondering there's, if there's any other tutorials. I haven't found any. So this is like the only one. And the only install of Windows 98 I have <coughs> found. So this is like maybe the first in the world. Let's click. Okay, it's it's done. Wait for all things. Yes, that's the ni nice light blue screen you want to see. Okay, press enter, and you wanna do win, because these files are necessary. Let's do its thingy. And press yes. Takes really really quick Yes, so close. So close to finishing. So close. Yes! There it is. Fully functional Windows 98 on a USB. When if you want to run programs, just drag and drop off. Uh, the exe files on the USB. And the Windows button works. See if there's my screen from here. See, didn't install the games. That sucks. Paint. Wait a minute. Yes. 
Control S. See. Okay, and that's it.